शांति 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 इन द डिवाइन प्रेजेंस ऑफ भगवान स्वामी नारायण एंड इन द इक्वली डिवाइन प्रेजेंस ऑफ माई गुरु जी प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज एंड द महंत स्वामी महाराज इन द मोस्ट रिवियज प्रेजेंस ऑफ पूज्य सतगुरु उदय सिंह जी महाराज and most importantly all the spiritual leaders and the leaders of various community organizations and distinguished guests thank you for your presence here this afternoon namaskar i would first like to thank the namdhari sikh sangat for your warm invitation to this event today BAPS Samvidhan Sanstha and Namdhari Sikh community have had a very close and long standing relationship for over more than 40 years mm. since 1982 when Harvinder Singh ji and his family from London they came to they came into contact with our guru ji pramukh sai maharaj that's how the connection started and for the first time shri satguru jagdish singh ji in 1997 he came for darshan of pramukh swami ji in the swaminarayan temple in east london and when he came he affectionately said that i have come to my own mandir and that's how the connection had built and even in the year 2000 when satguru jagdish singh ji came here in toronto he visited our temple in toronto which is not the one where we have the temple now but the the place preceding the present mandir he visited that temple and he met with prabhu swami ji as well today namdhari sangat shares a similar close relationship with the mahan swami ji as well I remember Uday Singh ji going to UAE for the opening of the BAPS Swaminarayan Hindu Mandir the first of its kind in the land of UAE the land given by the rulers of UAE and at that time they had the similar kind of interfaith harmony the seminar where Uday Singh ji met Mahan Swami ji and many other leaders were there on the same place and they discussed about the same topic over there at that time mahan swami ji said in our gujarati language that bahut pavitra bahut premar very loving and very pious and seva bhavi sanstha hai ye naam bhari sikh sanstha ki very charitable organization and when one meets the followers of this sangat the values of righteousness dharma ka aacharan love and unity are evident in their lives therefore i feel very humble today and fortunate to be here today interfaith harmony is one common topic that has brought all of us together the fact that everyone is present here even though we belong to different faiths and have many other commitments shows that deep in our hearts we all have one common goal interfaith harmony every religion every culture every community each and every heart and each and every home they believe in global harmony social cultural religious and spiritual diversity has been accepted in the vedic sanatan religion since ancient times in the vedas it is said sangachatvam samvadatvam sambho mayansi 
जानता एंड इवन भगवान स्वामीनारायण इन हिज टीचिंग्स प्रिश दैट वी शुड ऑल वर्क टूगेदर रिस्पेक्ट ईच अदर अपलिफ्ट सोसाइटी एंड लीव अ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ विदाउट एनी रिगार्ड फॉर कास्ट क्रीड कलर और एथेनिसिटी Pramukh Swami Maharaj always puts great emphasis on this kind of global harmony. In the United Nations World Peace Summit, which was held in the year 2000 in New York, in the UN, he said, "Let every religion exist and flourish. No prominent religion should uproot or eradicate minor faiths, but allow them to serve." the world in their small ways the religious leaders should not dream of only one religion in the world but dream of a world where all religions are one united as valak haridas ji said about believing into the soul i am not the body but i am soul so believing into us being souls not this body and believing others to be that soul and every soul is potentially divine god resides into them so when we see each other as equal then only this harmony will happen and that was pramukh swami ji's message because his guru yogi ji maharaj always used to say this to and in the scriptures also bhagwan swami nand has written and all the vedas and the scriptures in the hinduism they say this so we always talk about body mind and soul <coughs> soul being the superior and in that soul resides parmatma the god so when we see that way then we will not see any color creed no such thing that he is big or small and we will see them equally he also believed that different kinds of flowers are there in the garden and that's the beauty of the garden they are not harmful to the garden but enhances its beauty similarly diversity in the world is the beauty of the world so pramukh swami not only he just spoke about it but throughout his life and his teachings he exemplified all these things i remember when there was a terrorist attack on akshardham gandhi nagar there were many discussions going on but when everyone asked prabhu swami ji what next he said we pray to god that god gives that wisdom to the people who have done this and they also should get sadgati means they should also get heaven but we don't want to react in any manner where we lose the peace or where we where we create chaos in the community and he definitely asked each and every devotee who were very much like that time they all had in mind to do something but he said no this is not what we have been taught we want to behave in accordingly as what god has mentioned in the scriptures and it maintained peace it maintained everything well and this response of prabhu sai maharaj is now also being discussed in many of the universities or everywhere as akshardham response at anywhere if something goes wrong like this we should respond in this manner the action should be peaceful and once prabhu sai ji he visited israel in the year 1999 in the month of september and over there they took him to the wailing wall where all the jewish they go and worship they place the prayers written on a piece of paper and they put it on the cracks in the wall and they pray so swami ji didn't know what this is going on so he asked one of the attending swami that what are they doing they say they are praying and they are putting this prayers written on the paper so he also had few flowers which were offered to go in the morning he took them with him so he also put one flower 
over there and he prayed. And he put another flower and he prayed again. And at that time, one of the Swamis asked that, Swamiji, what did you pray for? What did you do exactly? Swamiji said that I have prayed that whoever has placed their prayers here, God should answer that prayers and then resolve all the miseries they are going through. And then the other Swami asked that the second flower, what was that for? What did you pray for? He said, and now I pray that whoever in the future will put their prayers, I'm praying for them too that God answers their prayers. So Pramukh Swamiji and Mahan Swamiji both have exemplified this thing in their life and they teach us these things. And that's why we see that the land in Abu Dhabi was given by the rulers over there, the Muslim rulers, the Chinese architect company, the general contractor were Parsis, the head of the contract or the supervisor was a Sikh, and there were Hindus, and everyone together built a Hindu mandir in the land of Muslims. So this was one of the examples of how the Gurus have exemplified this actual interfaith harmony, and that's what they are teaching us. If you all think pray and act this way, becoming one and united will not take long. It is natural for every person to have boundless love for their religion. We should love our religion and imbibe its principles in our lives, but at the same time we should also learn to respect the beliefs of other faiths, as Imam just said, that we should respect all the prophets. Today, Mahan Swamiji is making significant efforts to bring global harmony. That is why in the last two years, he has gathered people from various communities around the world and personally wrote the motto, in the spirit of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, let's reach out to extend the circle of global harmony to convey a message of establishing unity in the world. On February 14th, 2024, he inaugurated the BAPS Hindu Mandir in Abu Dhabi, exemplifying interfaith harmony. <clears throat> Man Swami instructed the residing Swamis serving the temple to host Om Siyat on April the 2nd, 2024, a cultural evening to promote interfaith harmony during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Over 200 leaders and the community members from diverse faiths and backgrounds attended this pioneering event, fostering a spirit of faith, friendship, unity, and reflection during the holy month. It is also reflected in the Satsang Diksha Granth. For those who don't know, Mahan Swamiji himself has written a Shastra, a scripture, with 315 such verses for the devotees, he says that may the whole world become a beautiful world, a world of unity, a world of love, a world without hatred, strife, envy for each other, blameless and perfectly virtuous. From the verses 299 to 306 or 7, these messages are conveyed. If just one conference can bring all of us and many faiths and leaders together today, imagine what wonders can be achieved if our thoughts and actions, actions become one. This message would reach everybody, just as the heart beats and pumps blood to all the body organs, vital for that healthy body. All the leaders seated here today are their community's hearts. And if our hearts beat together for interfaith harmony, the message of peace, respect, and acceptance will reach all members of our various faiths, our friends, family, and community members will have a healthier, peaceful, and harmonious society. In conclusion, I would recite a prayer 
from the Isa Vasya Upanishad on world peace. It is called the Shanti part. Hari Om Madhya Uhu Shanti Rantariksha Guhu Shanti Prithivi Shanti Rapa Shanti Dokhadaya Shanti Vanaspataya Shanti Vishvedeva Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarva Shanti Om Shanti 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 This translates O oh God, my Almighty, may there be peace in the heavens. May there be peace on the earth. May the waters be at rest. May herbs be wholesome. And may trees and plants bring peace to all. May there be peace in the universe and the Supreme Being. May there be peace among all and everywhere. May all things be source of peace to us. May there be peace to us and all beings. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.